Six Zero, the creator of the wildly popular Double Black Diamond, hadn't released a new paddle in quite some time. And recently, they have been on fire with the release of their Amethyst Power Paddle, the Ruby, the Infinity Double Black Diamond, and now the brand new Infinity Black Diamond. This extremely spinny, ultra fast in the hands paddle packs middle of the road power with solid pop. But is it the current best offering in Six Zero's recent lineup? Without further ado, let's dink straight into it. The Six Zero Infinity Black Diamond comes in at a price of $220, which is definitely more of a premium price these days, but you can get 10% off using code STS Pickleball at checkout, making the price $198. So why would Six Zero go through all of the effort to make an edgeless paddle? Is it better than a standard paddle with an edge guard? Well, that depends on the type of player that you are. Edge guards add stability to the paddle when striking a ball with force and when defensively resetting the ball from a hard drive or overhead. The downside to an edgeless paddle is going to be that without that stability, you may feel the paddle twisting a touch in your hands when the ball strikes the paddle with speed on off-center shots. The upside though is that it can be much faster in the hands, creating a potentially huge advantage at the kitchen line. I had originally been team edge guard for quite a long time, diving into the metrics and using my twist weight machine to optimize my paddle setups with lead tape to make sure I was widening the sweet spot and making my paddles as stable as humanly possible. But for me these days, that line has been blurred. I was utilizing the Black Diamond Infinity after playing with some higher swing weight paddles recently, and I noticed I was punching the ball back at my opponents and was way quicker to react to speed ups at the kitchen line than I had been for the last couple months. And I realized it's because not only was I using higher swing weight paddles, but I had also been adding quite a bit of lead tape to them. I could go on and on about this for days and my thoughts about what could be in theory generally optimal right now for the current state of pickleball as a whole. But I think the beauty of this game and also a beautiful aspect of life is letting go of these sort of preconceived notions and really honing in on what is best for you and what gives you the most confidence and the best feeling for your specific game. Theory aside, there's a ton of tech that went into this paddle, from the fiberglass textured surface for insane spin to the hand-painted edgeless design, the thermoformed unibody construction, and the fact that they had to create an entirely new mold to account for the small increase in surface area now available without an edge guard. Dale at 6-0 thought about everything as he tends to do. Spec-wise, the Infinity Black Diamond comes in at a weight of 8 ounces, a 5.5 inch grip length, 4.25 inch grip circumference, an incredibly low swing weight of just 105 and a twist weight of 5.74. This extremely gritty textured surface is the newly revamped surface you will start to see on all of Six Zero's paddles. When I got it, I quickly felt the surface to see if the edgeless design would be utilizing this and I knew right away it was going to be spinning like crazy. In my testing over tons of serves and analysis, I recorded an average RPM of 2293, making this one of the current highest spinning paddles and in the top tier of all paddles available right now in the industry. Compared to the original Black Diamond at 1954 RPM, the revamped surface texture is proving to have rather incredible results. In comparison to my other favorite low swing weight paddle, the Groovin Movin 13S, which comes in at 2008 RPM, the Infinity Black Diamond is certainly the king of low swing weight spin. And in comparison to the most popular Selkirk paddle, which is also edgeless, the Selkirk Vanguard Power Air at 1940 RPM, the Infinity Black Diamond is also the king of edgeless spin as well, which is likely chopped up to it not utilizing spray on grit, thank God. Power wise for me, it feels more middle of the road. Enough power to definitely get the job done, but not so much that it's uncontrollable. It has a touch more power off the face than the Infinity Double Black Diamond, but not a ton more. It does, however, have quite a bit more pop. If you're the type of player who likes to utilize pop for hand battle putaways and for quick undercover speed ups at the net, this is a great choice. I gave the Infinity Black Diamond an 8.6 for power and a 9 out of 10 for pop. Comparing that to the original Black Diamond at 9.2 for power and 8.5 for pop, we can see the lower swing weight and the lack of edge guard lowers the power but is making it easier to quickly speed up into the ball. Quicker, short motions leading to more aggressive pop off the face. We also have the Groovin Movin 13S at 8.5 for power and 8 for pop, and the Selkirk Vanguard Power Air at 7.1 for power and 7 for pop. Even though the twist weight is a bit on the lower end at 5.74, the Infinity Black Diamond 
Diamond has a surprisingly solid sweet spot for an edgeless paddle, and one you will certainly notice in play. It certainly has a premium feel off the face, which you'd hope for considering the price point. So for sweet spot, I gave it an 8.9 out of 10. To compare that to the original Black Diamond at a nine, the Groove and Movin 13S at 9.3, and the Selkirk Vanguard Power Air at 7.8, we can see that Dale at 6.0 definitely is innovating tech worthy of looking into in the edgeless category as far as sweet spot goes. I was pretty surprised at how solid the control is with the Infinity Black Diamond. The more middle of the road power and the low swing weight made placing my shots very easy. Dinking was fun and quite easy and drops felt honestly just effortless. One thing I really love doing these days is adding quite a bit of topspin and backspin on my drops when I can to make them less attackable and with the crazy amount of spin you can get with this paddle, it's quite easy to do so. So for control, I gave the Infinity Black Diamond an 8.9. To compare that to the original Black Diamond at 8.5, the Groove and Movement 13S at 9.5, Six, and the Selkirk Vanguard Power Air at 7.7, .7, you can see that it really does have some unique properties being an edgeless version of their original Black Diamond Power offering. If you love fast hands, want something that is a premium experience with top tier spin, top tier pop, and manageable power, and a paddle that is easy on your wrist and your elbow, this is a great choice for you indeed. If you wanna see my current top pick for the best protective glasses in the space, you can click right here. If you want to help out my channel, smash that like button and drop a comment below. Subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you in the next one.